For whatever reason, most people associate the idea of the instrumental with only jazz music. But the fact of the matter is you can find amazing instrumentals all across the entire musical spectrum. So here are a few of my favorite songs from the rock and pop genres. The first track I want to talk about is the easiest, and it's Eddie Hazel's amazing song, Lamb Pock Boogie. Coming off the re-release of his Game, Dames, and Guitar Things album, this guitar masterpiece clocks in just short of 12 minutes of some of the greatest musicianship you'll ever hear. Perfectly blending together soul and funk and psychedelic, if you had any question as to why Eddie Hazel is held in such high regard as a guitarist, this song cements any doubts. The grooves he creates all along this track are outright phenomenal, and I can't recommend this track highly enough. The next song I want to suggest is a track called Flight from the Cinematic Orchestra. Coming off of their exceptional Everyday album, this is one of my favorite tracks in the group's entire catalog. The mood here is spectacular, and it's far more paced than a majority of their other recordings, but it still manages to retain that completely enveloping atmosphere that makes all of their music so excellent. From the fantastic bass line, to the skipping drums, to the keyboard and other instruments, this track is outright sonic joy. Check it out! The next song we're going to check out is The Ventures classic, Walk. Don't run. Now, this is one of the most famous recordings in all of music history, but it was originally recorded by the Ventures back in 1960. This is, in many ways, the epitome of that surf rock sound, but most people are unaware that it's pretty much a counter melody of the traditional song, softly as in the morning sunrise. The groove on this track remains just as fresh and enjoyable as ever, and for many people, you can now put a proper title with a song you've known for a very long time. For our next track, we turn to the mighty Black Sabbath and their song, Rat Salad. Quick and to the point, this serves as a fantastic lead-in to the last track on the band's Paranoid record. And while many might point to the Sabbath song Fluff in terms of instrumentals, I simply prefer this one. The guitar tone is just perfect, and there's this chaotic energy that's tough to top. You can also hear the band's similarity to Led Zeppelin on this song, and in every sense of the word, it's a fantastic track you have to know. The last song is an absolute classic, and it comes from the king of instrumental music himself, Frank Zappa, and his song, Peaches in Regalia. Choosing just one instrumental track from the massive catalog of Frank Zappa is a daunting task onto itself, so I simply went with the song I know best for a wide range of reasons. Coming from his amazing Hot Rats album, this is as brilliantly quirky a song as has ever been written. It's all about the tone of the instruments that make this song so exceptional, as well as the tempo shifts that seem to occur between a number of them. There's just this presence to Peaches in Regalia that no other track has ever come even close to, and for so many reasons, you have to know this song. So those are some of my favorite non-jazz instrumental tracks. There's a ton more out there that I really, really love, and we'll probably get to those later in the year. And as always, I've linked all the songs I just talked about below in the show notes so that you can check them out right now. Be sure to check back here every single Sunday for more music recommendations, and be here every day for all the music news, reviews, and knowledge you'll ever need. <laughs>